Hey my friends, welcome back. Effie Review Problem Math. What is the derivative of yeesh, that function? Okay, there are your answer choices. Always inspect your answer to understand what you're doing. Because you may have to do the exponent, the derivative of the exponent rule here. But it looks like this is just expanded and solved that way. So, hmm, maybe that was too much of a clue. Okay. See if you can work this out. Press pause, work it out. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go. All right. Did you get an answer or not? This is kind of a bear. Let's see if we can do it. Okay. Step one. I think what I'm going to do is expand that whole thing and then take the derivative of that, right? Because I want f uh, prime, right? That's what I'm looking for there. And so let's expand that thing first. Um, I don't know if that's any easier or not, but we'll do that. So it's x cubed minus, and I'm going to just put a bracket here. This is x minus 2. Now, Johnny Winksells would say, oh, that's x cubed minus 8. That is not what that is. That is x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2, okay? Two of these is x squared minus 4x squared plus 4, right? There's that times another x minus 2. Okay, so let's multiply that out and I get x cubed minus 4x cubed. Oh no, that's just an x, not an x squared. Sorry. Not an x squared. That just turns into an x squared. 4x squared and then plus uh, 4x and then multiply by the negative 2 and that's negative 2x squared. Um, plus 8x uh, minus 8, right? Anything we can combine there? Well, yeah. So we can do x cubed, um, the x squared, I got a 4 and a 2 there, so minus 6x squared, and then I got a 4 and an 8, so plus 12x, and then, of course, minus 8, okay? And all of that is times or go, has an x cubed minus in front of it, right? And all of that is going to be squared. That's what I was going to say. All of that has to be squared. So if we distribute this negative through that thing, okay, that means that, all right, if this one becomes negative, this one becomes positive, this one becomes negative, this one becomes positive, okay? And then let's see if this thing simplifies. Well, this looks pretty tasty right there. And so I have 6x squared minus 12x plus 8. And that is squared. So times 6x squared minus 12x plus 8. Now I've got to expand that thing. This is some nasty algebra, y'all. That's 36 uh, x to the fourth minus, right? So minus 72, uh, 66, 72, yeah, 72 x cubed, and then 6x times that's plus 48 x squared. Then I'm doing the minus 12, okay? So minus 12 times 6 is 72, 72 x cubed, and then plus 144 x squared, and then minus 96 x. Okay, and then the last one is multiply everything through by the 8. So this becomes 48 x squared, right, minus 96 x uh, plus 64. Holy gross banana Batman. Okay. So this whole thing simplifies to 36 x to the fourth. How many x cubes do I have? I've got two of them. Okay. Blomp, blomp. That's minus 144. How many x squares do I have? I got 48, and 48 is 96, and 144 more is 240 x squared, so I got you, and I got you, and I got you. I got two 96s there, 
uh, what is that? 96 times 2. So 192. 96 times 2. Yep. Minus 192x plus 64. Okay. <sighs> now, can we take the derivative of that? Do you remember how to take a derivative of that? So fx prime is equal to. You lower the exponent by 1 and you multiply the 4 in the front there, right? So 36 times 4, 144 x cubed. Oh, oh, it's looking good. Minus 3 times 144. 144 times 3 equals 432 x squared. Oh, <laughs> plus... 2 times 2 for the 480x, yeah baby, and then minus 192, the 64 goes away, and that is your answer, answer C. Testing two things here, can you do basic algebra, and then number two, do you remember the rules how to, how to make a derivative? Okay, that's totally gross, okay? <laughs> Let's do another one.